CCR TV, channel of God's love. A warm welcome to all our viewers on this episode of Goinche Tarvoti. Life on board the ship as a Tarvoti or as a sailor is an adventure for some. It's a challenge for many, but surely it's one such profession that brings out the best in you in good times and in bad times. गोयचे तारवोटी कार्यावळींत आयज आमचे मध्ये आसा चीफ इंजिनियर राजेंद्र नाईक ते गावात खेपेचे जाणे आपल्या तारवोटी जीवितात जायतेच किते पडलेला जायतेच अनुभवला आणि या अनुभवातल्या ते जायतेच किते शिकल्यात अधिक बोलवण झाल्यात शाणो झाला आणि आयज मेरेन तारवोटी जीविताच्या आव्हानात मोगान फुडो करता इन द कोर्स ऑफ हिज ड्युटी Rajendra Naik has seen severe sea cyclones, tsunamis, fires, bomb attacks, death at close quarters and all these experiences has only made him more bolder and more confident to take up more challenges. We are happy to welcome to our studios Chief Engineer Rajendra Naik. Thank you, you very much. You, sir. Thank you very much Daniel Bab for this nice uh, introduction. and i am really grateful that i am honored that i am here with you thank you very much even we are honored to have you on our show the basic aim of of this going to tarvoti is to bring the life and their challenges before our viewers you know very true very yes true. they have they do a lot of sacrifices as part of their duty of course yeah so i mean i mean the will could so will will let us begin this chat okay <laughs> in right earnest Yeah. Uh Rajendra Bab tell us you know tell us and our viewers something about your teenage and academic years. Okay. I born in a beautiful village in Amona that is in Kepe. The village is surrounded by mountains and one side is river. It's a beautiful village. Basically all people very around 30 houses we have. It's a small village and very prosperous village. and in that village i was playing football i have represented uh, goa for my village i see i have done inter uh, i mean uh, interval football tournaments then all goa football tournaments up to the first division i played but it was always my dream to ride ride and ride because that was my passion and finally after going on a ship the first thing i did is i purchased a royal enfield bike and since then i am riding and ultimately i land up with the indian scout okay i finished my education in holy cross institute in kepe and then i joined naval dock the goa ship yard there where i did my apprenticeship and i land up on ship okay so that <coughs> was your brief journey yeah. from a youngster to going into yeah. your professional you know line Correct. of your chosen career uh in that case while you were young say in your late teens and in your early 20s who was your role model during this growing up years yes my father your father my father of course every child have father is a role model but mine was little bit i can say it extraordinary because my father is a theater artist oh i see he was a theater artist basically he is alfiar you know portuguese word is a tailor during mm. portuguese time mm. tailor mm. and we are farmers but he never went on a farm paddy field but he we have a we had a tailoring shop in kape he was doing all this uh, stitching job and all but side by side he is a theater artist he has directed many theater marathi uh, theaters I and see. you must be knowing that natak mm. he was a director of that He has directed many uh, natak, Konkani natak, Marathi natak. Ah, uh, Marathi natak. And then you must be knowing that uh, Itha Vishalna Mrityu, mm. then Rai Gadala Jeeva Jag, all based on Shivaji and Maratha power. I see. So he was very famous in Kepe, Sange, in that area, South Bay. So I was always thinking one day I will do like my father. Mm -hmm. That was my. But he was not uh, open to anybody. He his job and. Okay. his family that's okay. it so he was not a kind of an extrovert so to say you mean to no. say no okay all to himself yeah. and his profession yes, yes 
जर हा संदर्भान एक तारवोटी व्यवसाय विचुन का उत्तेजन खुंचन आयले तारवोटी हतोटी जो उत्तेजन खुंचन आयोजित one of my uncle was working on a ship so that time two ships were going bombay goa kokan sevak and kokan shakti correct so my uh, apprenticeship was finished and i was vacant nothing doing only playing football so my uncle was going to bombay he asked me are bombay eta mm -hmm. i'm like yeah and it was my excitement that i am going by ship to bombay okay that a 50 rupees ticket it was it was punje to me offside department yes yeah. and i went to bombay and there he was sitting in the office and i was sitting outside in that lounge in his office so that lady irene pendandis i take her name mm -hmm. she asked me what for you came in the office mm. i said i came with my uncle then who are you i said i am rajendra naik i am from goa but what is your profession i said i am a uh, marine uh, goa ship at apprentice will you walk on the ship he heard that conversation from inside your uncle your uncle he immediately he came out mm. and he said yes 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 he will work he yes. wanted to help me because it was a recession time 86 87 there was a recession okay. and this is story of 88 hmm. so that time shipping was booming up so anybody was getting job kona ke kaam metale you should have a passport openings were there openings were there and tane ha motri she told me okay there is one job on a ship will you go the chief engineer need some assistance if you succeed we will put you on ship and but i don't have passport cdc nothing i have okay but temporarily they said we will give you some stipend you go on a ship and help chief engineer i went on a ship there was a problem with the anchor anchor was fallen down vessel was in bombay indira dock it was very simple because i have seen my seniors were doing this job daily and i was their uh, assistant i did that job i bought the anchor up by repairing that hydraulic line and hydraulic motor chief engineer was very happy with me mm. without telling me the he told master we'll pick up this boy in the evening after finishing my job when i came back the irene fernandes and there was one guy mm. dominic the goan fellow he told me they are calling me raju raju they are asking you in the office so i said well, maybe for money they are calling me mm. they said okay we are you are getting job so my uncle is pinching me don't say no don't say no <laughs> that fellow with whom i went and i said i don't have passport mm. he said what for you came bombay Yeah, and that time in my career, first time I sat in flight. Okay, they gave me flight up and down IC one six one, five hundred rupees ticket Air India. It was a big amount then. Big amount, and only about I'm flighting Boston. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit, you know, scared. No was. But I came, and my mother was sick, and she was in GMC. I landed in uh, Vasco. Straight away went to GMC and told my mother, "Mak job mela, I'm going on ship." First of all, who and who paid the money? Mm -hmm. I said no money, nothing. I am going on ship. I <laughs> said, Baba, my trasam put she. I said no, everything is okay. And Vikash, my uncle, mm. who did this, he has done everything. And that's how I landed on ship. So, Antun San, you see, police Tarwachi point sorry zali. Yes. Tarwachi, what's your name? Yeah. And you police posting to say zali. Yes. Zali, at a kitli summer was zali. Ye good thing oh. that you are actually sailing since 1988. 1988 son. Uh, 35 years. 35 years you yes. are a sailor yes. now. Yes, yes, yes. Or rat tarwati. Or rat tarwati. <laughs> Because only that job I know. Tell me something, sir. Uh, when you received your first paycheck as a merchant navy sailor. Huh. What was that feeling on receiving your first paycheck? You know, this job also came to you on a platter, like me. Chitta na sthanam, tumka job me allo. As I said, uh, my always wish was to be a rider. Ah. Uh. And of course, there was a financial difficulties. Being a farmers, we never mm. had a other other side of problem. But liquid cash was not there in the hand. Yes. So my first salary is like in in dollars. One eighty six dollar was my first salary. <laughs> okay. But I was on ship that time. Money came in my account. Mm. First thing I did after sign off, I purchased a bullet. Okay, that was my a gift for yourself. Gift for myself. 
I see. Uh, Rajendra Pap, okay, thereafter, how did you go about, you know, advancing your technical qualifications and knowledge? You know, you have to go uh, towards the upward mobility now and you cannot do with what you had that Correct. apprenticeship from the Goa shipyard, am yeah, I right? Uh -huh. So, how did you go about, you know, advancing your technical qualifications? As it is, you know, this nowadays shipping is very difficult. It's very advanced. Yeah, very advanced and survival of the fittest. Okay. So, normally, normally uh, every six months or every now and then there is upgradation going on. And to be in the system, to be in the that uh, difficult world in wedding mm -hmm. inspection, PSC inspection, machinery upgradation, you have to upgrade yourself mm -hmm. to survive. And I did that. How did you do it? I went to UK, I okay. did my exams and I was happily doing. Then other chief engineer, other second engineer, they pushed me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you have a caliber, go ahead. Then I went to Singapore and did my class one. I see. So initially you went to UK? Yes. The basic thing and Correct. thereafter, after that uh, advancement was yes. uh, through the, the institute in Singapore. That was the final exam. How is like you know, the cost factor since it's a foreign country, uh, how is the cost factor like See. for Goan, you know, seafarers? Who See, has a wish to get themselves qualified through a foreign institute, especially UK is looked upon and Singapore also? See, there is a cost uh, you cannot see everywhere. Mm. Earning in dollar, spending in Gandhi, I mean spending makes in Indian difference. rupees, it makes difference. Big difference. But when I did my exam, I was married. So I, I had a family liabilities. But it was a small investment, you can say that, mm. for yourself. Once you clear your license, you are fit into the system. Exactly. If you don't clear your exams, if you don't upgrade yourself, system will not accept you. Correct. And you are stagnated. Yes. That's how it is. No? Yes. Sir. That's how this profession correct, is. Correct. It's a constant upgradation and constant upward move. Um, yes. Um, to survival, mobility. you have to do it. Yes, sir. Dalal, ya Anton Polongeler, I'm just going to talk about this website. I'm going to talk about this website. And I'm going to talk about this website. I'm going to talk about this website. I'm going to talk about this website. See, during my time, there was only one way to go in engineering is DMET. Mm. So, that is All India Entrance Exam. That time, there were no this uh, uh, marine engineering schools and training schools were not there. In 1986, I am talking about. So, only entrance was either Masgan Dock Apprenticeship or Naval Dock Apprenticeship who are like me, not so brilliant, you know. So, some people, they used to clear uh, DMET. So then they will decide either he will go for Rajendra or he, I mean deck side or engine side. Training ship. Azun Asat. Azun Asat. Rajendra is no more. No more. Now I think Chanakya. I think Chanakya but is also finished. In the 80s, 90s, I know that yeah. Rajendra was a much sought after training ship. Pehle Dafrin tha. Dafrin ke baad Rajendra. It was Bauza Dakka. Okay. I mean tied up here. Yes. Then become Chanakya. Now I also don't know what it is. Now, so far, how has your voyage on the on this thing, high seas and oceans been? You have been. Uh, you know, uh, traveling and sailing across the globe. Mm -hmm. How it is like, you know, for you as uh, Rajendra Naik? No, I want to answer your previous question, one more thing. Yes, tell me. Going to Burgiyan, I have a message to you. The facility is not going to be able to do it. It's not going to be able to do it. Then Nusi, these training centers were not there before. Okay. So, I have a message to you, going to Burgiyan. They should use, they should take advantage of this and go ahead with their prospectors. Karan, Jo Soloti, Tumche Velar Nasilio, and Tumka Mumbai Veche Pottal. Tiyata Goyantut Uplod Asa. Yes, so they can take advantage of it. And seriously, Dantani, a place Lakshadun Tani, but Kodi Ospachi. Yes. Oshamurung to me Satat. Yes. Ada Sadek to me, Chief Engineer Asat. Zalair, yaa natyan dhor disa tumche duty bapti and tumche jababdari koshi kiti hai and tumhi koshi tori in fudhe vatta. See, actually the vessel, the ship is running on chief engineer and chief officer. Master is just a decision making. Master, I can say, is a postmaster between the company and the ship. Whatever messages company sent, master pass it to us. Right? Management side. Management side. He is the. He is not in the maintenance or not in the operation. Correct. We always discuss. Chief officer and me always discuss, including master is there in the toolbox meeting. Second engineer is also there, and whatever problem is facing, like uh, cargo matters, 
या डेली मेंटेनेंस मैटर वी डिस्कस एंड देन गिविंग द प्रायोरिटी वी सॉल्व इट राजन बाब ड्यूरिंग योर सर्विस टाइम एज अ चीफ इंजीनियर ऑल दिस इयर्स हैव यू एनी टाइम एनकाउंटर एनी इमर्जेंसी लाइक अ सिचुएशन अनि from this you have to somehow face it and come out of it yes any time such a situation has come yes in your shipping career yes the can you share it with our viewers yes uh, it a worst experience 6 october 2006 i remember this day we were crossing north north uh, pacific it was a 10th stage of the sea the very worst sea Tenth stage of the sea, or oh, the technical term. Yes. I am sure you are on question. But since all my people, it was sea was cyclone. Yeah, but it is high level intensity. Sea was very rough. Hmm. Company advised us to go for a shelter, but a newly promoted master, a senior master, senior person, but late promoted, D Captain Deepak Kapoor. I am taking his name. He told company, "No, I will face the cyclone. I see. Rather than going to the shelter, there were three vessels." one giant step of missui and one t alexander a uh, greek ship and my ship very sorry that was a dead day i mean black day in our shipping giant step went down my friend brazil dies from kunkoli with his wife and daughter he went down then t alexander also went down there is greek ship but my ship with engine failure engine two unit failure okay. we had a five unit engine Name of the vessel was Grafton. The people are still there. Whoever worked on this vessel, and we were heading with three units in one place, three days, not going ahead, not going back. I see. One place only. You must have seen a movie called Perfect Storm, or you can Google it. The same situation there. But by the grace of God, that time I was not married. But we survived. This is the life for me, given by Dr. Captain Deepak Kapoor. so it was a very very challenging challenging situation. because our duty was to keep the engine moving yes and we were fighting we were slogging to keep the engine running you know the scavenging you know during that time scavenge pressure went high mm -hmm. so we have to release the scavenge pressure because main target was engine should not stop if the engine stop we stop correct right. so 3 days without sleeping continuously staying in a on a in a engine room to keep the propeller moving and all the rest all crew with their life jacket stand by in the mess rooms i see in so case such was the situation yes very bad situation daniel bab my heart is uh, heavy to tell you this so these are situation that sometimes our yes, this is the challenging of face ko challenging or any challenge job, job. Huh? i am not saying that no. there are many good people they never face this type of thing they are selling with a uh, we harmony and uh, selling with good enjoying their life but i am not saying that they should also face this what i okay. face no this is one of a kind situation yeah, yeah. and experience which you yes. are putting before the yeah. audience today ek sangat amka tumchi gode ek duty art oran chi aso dao oran chi aso tani goras padlyar you may be on call you know mm -hmm. continuously as situation like this nala ek engine room an itli wara sarung ani vyavasthit pani kaam cholong तुझे ऑपरेशन चालू उलो कितले सुमार अवगट आनी आवान केदे वाले तुम्हें मुखार धनेल बाब वेन यू आर ड्राइविंग अ बस ड्राइवर कैन नॉट गो एंड स्लीप ही हेज टू टेक केयर ऑफ द व्हील नाउ नाउ द वेसल इज गिवन टू मी एंड कैप्टन ही इज हैंडलिंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आई एम हैंडलिंग द टेक्निकल आई हैव माय सेकंड इंजीनियर एंड अदर इंजीनियर्स दे आर कैपेबल बट टेंशन आसता मॉर्निंग वी डिस्कस today we will do this this is our plan this fellow will do this this fellow will do this but sometime we are getting unexpected breakdowns okay. and to avoid that breakdown we have a system called pms plan maintenance system show must go on correct so this work has to be done so you have to involve yourself sometime tujh kaden jai na side sir how karta ye situation yes and i am capable of doing this because my background is from technical from right. workshop right i can do welding i can do lathe work i can do what fitter can do or what cannot do i can do i'll tell you one incident of my career yes please share it uh, we were in nauru australia name of the vessel was shakir 
ship side pilot and mark manli well and boy manli and there was a hole in the ship side i had a fitter called samant from samantwadi he could not weld it we listed the ship to 10 degree 10 they, degrees yes and they lowered me the lower fitter down he could not weld vertical and horizontal i knew this because i am from shipyard i chief in look at me i was second engineer when i nike kuch karega i'm sir mai kar dunga i went down when the waves come we used to keep the welding holder up correct i welded that plate i myself i am not sure that i did that job but i did it i am proud to tell you i did that job the situation was such that you had to put your best foot forward yes so something like this and right? we saved our ship neither can you just leave it no we have to do it but <laughs> chief engineer for the safety side he put cement box from inside i see but i was sure it will not leak but even though he put it there was no drop coming inside mm. but 80 cm by 60 cm i still remember the measurement dimensions dimension i cut that please paid plate and put a new plate and welded it lloyd tested plate till the dry dock now as a chief engineer uh, how I mean, i mean how are you connected to the captain who's on the bridge and the chief officer in coordinating your day to day operations professionally you tumche uh, work location is in the engine room ni yes to ka we connect kinds na bridge chair where the captain is supposed to be yeah chief officer will also be on the deck only there so but there is how? nothing on the bridge which belongs to the captain other than his computer everything is mine if rudder got damaged i am the one I see. if gyro fail i am the one any technical electrical electronic instrument fail i am the one Okay. master is just he'll pick up the phone and say chief my thing is not working mm -hmm. my anchor is not dropping my light is not working so all technical thing is my responsibility and i have a pride that i am taking it okay i am professionally with master mm. mechanically maintenance side i am with chief officer we get together and we solve the problem of course we inform master yeah i told you master is a final authority but a vessel run ship run on me and chief officer but all the other operative orders come from the master yes master is getting order from the office if he wants to do something office will tell him he will tell me but some companies i have a direct access to the company i can send my technical messages by keeping master in cc okay okay uh ek sangat amka rajan bab how different is this high profile job on the land and and that of one on the high seas at your level I mean how how I mean what's the big difference like on land is like a hot cake for them it is nothing on if, land is like a hot cake you said yes because okay. if something is not working they will call technician if something is not working they will call up something baba this is not working but for us no you are the one you are the one who do it if something is broken you repair it i see if you want any technical assistant you beg to the shore guys please send me the technical assistant but at sea you cannot send I have to come to the port for the technical assistance. So, what is your main intention? Is keep the fan moving, and mm -hmm. that we do. This is the difference between the shore and this shore job. By and sitting in the office, very easy to say, "Arey, ye karo, o karo." But practically, udhar o karo, kitna difficulty aata hai that we knows, my engine staff knows. Rajin Bob, janna tumi vessel board ke liye. यू साइन ऑन जो तुम्हें कितले महीने थोड़े फाट भाई उत्तर अशे तरह हि लॉन्ग वॉयज को एकसुर रोप फामिली फामिली वेगो रो पैस रो नोद्रे भाई रो सीटुएशन तुम्हें मन कसल प्रभाव जता गुड क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली देर आर आई वी कैटेगराइज समाइम आई फोन टाइप दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग Man, woman, a third category is seaman. Man, woman, third category is seaman. Because man, woman lives on a land, okay. and seaman live between the sky and the sea. Hmm. He is not in the water, not in the sky, in between. So our family is who are there on board. Once you departure stamp, you take. Your family is your ship, your crew members. Of course, your wife is there, your children is there, but sometimes you are so. deep in your work you forget you forget everything and how days are going you never know i do remember we do remember our families but in in front of responsibilities 
days flies. It's not everywhere, mm -hmm. but if by mistake, by luck, if you get an old ship, you are totally, totally screwed in this. I see. Yes. Such is the challenge. Yes, it's mm -hmm. a challenging job. Survival of the fittest. Again, I say, the guy who survive at sea can survive anywhere. You cannot say मेरे से नहीं होता है. तुमको करना ही पड़ेगा. तुम नहीं करोगे तो दूसरे को करना पड़ेगा. It's like that. Everyone is assigned to do their job. If I don't do my job, my second engineer has to do my job. If second engineer cannot do my job, I have to take initiative and do his job. Then only I am a chief engineer. So tell me something. In this given situation like this, where it is a lot of stress is there, day-to-day -day stress, you know, running the ship operations are on. How do uh, sailors generally manage their stress level while sailing? Is there any form of, you know, for them, like say, to divert their minds, keep their mind and body fit, exercise regime, gymming or yoga, something like this is there? Actually, Daniel Bob, Indian people, you know, we have a five stories or three stories up and down, they are running. That is the more and then, uh, more than anything like exercise. But sometimes we do, we do treadmill, we do, we play table tennis and the social media, what's up? Okay. Yeah. That is helping you helping to, you know, to release our to stress. release the stress levels. Yeah. Uh, in your absence, while you are sailing, who holds the fort back home? My home minister, my wife. She is managing in she your is absence. She is managing. She is a tough lady now. Okay. When she married, she did, she was like, you know, kasjat le, how to do it. But now I think she learned driving. She can drive truck also now. <laughs> <laughs> so. In this uh, uh, situation back home, that she is taking full charge. Yes, fully charge. Tumgale mashe stress level komi Yes, yes, huh? yes. At least as far as your family back home is concerned. My children are grown up. I am telling you, I am out, out for the family only. But my wife have done all, all the, all her efforts, and I mean, she did everything. Mm. I have not done anything for my children, other than giving their needs. Rajendra Bob. आतंस तुम्ही एक तुमच्या जीवितांतली एक गडनुक आमच्या मुकादरला मुकार आडली अबाउट दैट सीवियर सी स्टॉर्म एंड साइक्लोन एंड ऑल एंड तोरी तुम्ही फोटो केलो असले आणि किती आहे तुमच्या जीवितांतले काही यादस्तिक खीण असतात इतल्या वर्षांचे यस जे तुम्ही आईज उक्ते करू शकतात आई टेल यू वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट इंसिडेंट ऑफ माय करियर इवन माय हेअर सा आई मीन आई वाज इन Indonesia, I was at sea, we had an engine breakdown. We opened up the fuel pump, we overhauled the fuel pump and while boxing up the fuel pump, mm. I was second engineer, chief engineer told me, I'll just go up, have one cigarette and come back. Okay. In between, the pump fell on my hand. You can see this. Mm -hmm. The three ton pump, with the 80,000 BHP engine, the huge pump fell on my hand. My hand was broken. Fracture. Fracture. I removed my shoes and put shoes underneath and tied up with the <coughs> lace. One Goan captain, Captain Joseph from Pune, he said, Raju Binaka, you will have best treatment. He simply said, because that time tsunami was going on, there were no doctors, no medicine. I see. But even though Indonesian Navy came and they picked me up and they put me in place called Makassar in Indonesia. While, while going from the ship to Makassar, captain put some $200 in my pocket think, saying that, hey, tumhari le kaam aega, bad time. Don't worry about your certificates and your baggage, I will send it home. Because somebody was signing off. They took my interview in between the Indian, Indonesian Navy. I was on national TV. They, are, they asked me one question, which, which Navy is best, India or Indonesia? <laughs> what will I say? The Indonesian Navy is the best. I have no option left. <laughs> and then they put me into the one hospital in Makassar. The hospital name was Fatima. Mm. There, you know, Padri, Lob Galta Dashe, mm. uh, Muslim fellow with, with old beard and all. He was making magic on my hand. Uh, the who, who like. Huh. I said, I want orthopedic doctor. I don't want this magic. I was opposing that. They injected me in anesthesia. Mm. And they did what they want to do and they put a plaster. I see. Morning when I got up, I asked them, 
I want X-ray of this. When when they did an X-ray, the bone were like this. They were not connected like this. Cross. Yes. Then I called office. I say I am in big trouble. Please give me proper medication. They said, don't worry, Nike. We will transfer you from there because now it's tsunami time. So because of the first aid, we put you there. Mm. Then they forced agent to put me in a bigger hospital. So from there, I was sent to Jakarta. And Jakarta, Jakarta, Jakarta in the hospital, there was a Japanese, Japanese uh, doctor who studied in British Candy, Bombay. He did my operation. And then he said, son, I can give you, I can put a plate, but I don't have post-operation medicine to give you. And after doing the operation, middle of the night when I got up, one hand, you can see this, the drain pipe was there and full plaster. And this hand, there are drips. So I wanted to go to toilet for Lou. How can I go? And in a hall, there are another 10 patients and one small girl sitting next to me and reading Quran. So I told that girl, I want to go to toilet. She helped me for the Lou. It was the worst thing anybody can have. I gave the $200 which was there in my pocket to that girl. And then I realized this 9 or 10 people, they are sleeping. Nobody is there with them. Yeah. Then I saw their toes are tied up with a rope with a tag, with full bed sheet on top. I see. It means I was sleeping with the dead bodies, whole night. All by yourself. All by yourself. And what was that small child doing there? She was reading Quran. She was also scared. She is given that job. She is from uh, scout and guide student. She is helping for the needy people. She is uh, maybe 10, 12 years old girl. Shocking experience. Shocking experience. And then I, I said, right now call agent. So agent came running, running morning, 4, 3, 4 o'clock at 3, something 6 o'clock. And he connected me to the office. Then I told, I'm sleeping with the dead bodies. And they started joking from Hong Kong, saying that this is a good movie, man. Sleeping with the enemy, you're sleeping with the dead bodies. And from there, they shifted me to Jakarta and then Jakarta airport and then to India. And then... Uh, Dr. Ami Velinkar, yeah. the orthopedic, he did this or remaining because Dr. Lard cleaning Mahim, oh, sorry, Dadar, I did my post operated there. This is one incident. This experience, what you have shared just now, is very chilling. Yes. It and is. when you remember it or when you think about it, what do you feel till today? Experience of a lifetime, like, isn't yes, it? Yes. I, huh? I, I, when my son born, that day only I told my wife, he will never look at to the sea. What I sacrifice, I know. What you sacrifice, you know. She lived without me. Of course, three months, four months is not a big deal. People are coming from nine months, you know. Yeah. But by the grace of God, I got this shorter contracts always. But my son is a mechanical engineer. But I told him, Baba, kitankur, butir naka. So he is doing now MBA in Bangalore. Okay. In marketing. Just now you said when you went through all this thing, your uh, accident, the fracture of the arm, it was a tsunami time. Yes. Oshe Torin to me, kenna turi tsunami face kella in the zone that you are, you know, sailing. And how did you manage that passage? This is the tsunami time. Same time. Same time. Same time. Same time. And secondly, uh, Daniel Bab, if I start telling you everything, these 45 minutes are not enough. Pauchena. Pauchena. <laughs> I have seen a fire on board. Okay. Uh, let us uh, change our course yeah, now. Yeah. Let's divert, yeah. divert ourselves. And uh, from tsunami, we come to the sea pirates. Yeah. Yes. Kennetori, uh, sea pirates infested route, maybe through the Somalia region, Red Sea, Tumikenna, Sailing Zala. Yes. And have you any time experienced the attack or something like that from yes, threat I, from sea pirates? I experience. You experience? Yes, I experience it in the 90s. In 90s, you know, olden days when we are doing engine unit and all, chief engineer used to send a case of beer down. But now, no, alcohol free. But that time it was there. Okay. So it was the 23rd, 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 24th mm. December, mm -hmm. eve of Christmas. Mm -hmm. There was a Christmas party going on and we had a breakdown in engine room. So people said, the chief engineer said, okay, hold on, we put a piston, cylinder head we'll put later, mm. we'll have one, some drink and we'll come. And it was a cargo ship. So we out, came out from the engine room and they sat on a number four hatch and we're having one, one beer. So by the time the Jordan, the Aqaba, there is always war going on. Yeah. So they came and they asked for a water. Mm. 
so captain was the indian navy captain so he was talking arabic to them they asked for a water <coughs> so he lowered and that time we were doing rationing of water there was a rationing on board so captain lowered two cans of water to them i see but they were not happy what happened i don't know at the aft poop deck there was a party going on they just removed a hand grenade and put it on the party okay so one steward stomach was fully open up third engineer died captain injured chief officer enjoyed only second officer was okay they can be so merciless yes they, they have no mercy they have no religion i don't know what for they are fighting it happened with me on board you witness to it yes so amaru name of the vessel company sold the ship after this at with all these experiences and all that you, that you have gone through tuka kenna tore disla ki tumen tuka fao tosli vyavsay vinsun kadli ani this had to be part of this profession sir this Asle is this is accident this is accidental profession okay. but now i love this now we love it yeah because other than this i don't know anything i can only survive on the ship hmm. you tell me ship problem i can solve but if you tell me something other thing i don't know i think that motorcycle mechanic is more uh, uh, sensible because he is working with small engine we are working with big engines we cannot put he cannot go inside the engine and remove the crank pin bearing but he remove the crank pin bearing by opening the crank case with the small fingers so i know only that job so i have no option but you said you advise your son not to look at the sea as a profession that is my selfishness or <laughs> caring towards fear. my son <laughs> fear i don't know but what i suffered see now the question come how you advise others to go on a sea yeah okay but my son don't want to go on sea <laughs> simple thing as yes, much okay uh, rajendra bob with all your experience and with all your years of service on the ship at this level of a chief officer chief where uh, sorry chief engineer i'm making a mistake uh, where do you see yourself 10 years from now to tell you very frankly i may retire you may retire i may retire after one or two years i want to ride and ride all over india Just now, I have gone to Nepal yeah, by bike. Yeah, you said uh, riding was yes, your passion, passion from young. I have so just gone from Goa to Nepal by bike. When I, was that? I was on TV, on the twenty-four uh, in TV, you know. Okay. I gone to Nepal by bike. All by yourself? By, no, three person. Myself, one Sidesh, and one uh, Ame. Three guys we went. I came back from Nepal. Also, I did uh, South India, complete South India on bike. On the bike. On the bike. So now my target uh, is to Bhutan. I'll go. Okay, so this was your passion. Yes. Right from young. Yes. And I think somewhere it remained incomplete, because you went on board the ship and yeah. your profession, uh, you know, didn't permit you to do this. Yes, yes. Well, uh, no adventure time. Passion. Uh, yeah. Huh? yeah. I've been adventurous. पहले से ऐसा ही हूँ मैं. What gives you so much pleasure to ride the bike on the hilly terrains and go from one region to the other? Daniel Bab is like uh, because it's a totally a contrast kind of a passion. You know, you are a seaman by profession. Your life is on the sea. You are facing the sea waves and all the things. And then suddenly you come on land and you want to take off with a bike. You know, when you are on a bike, your concentration is only on forward. You forget everything. If you just miss something, you are in accident. So you, it is sort of meditation. I feel for myself. You said in two years' time you want to. and not take retirement or yeah. you want to retire and then you want to take up this your passion yes. very seriously very seriously so you already have bhutan on your mind yes maybe next year i'll be going and your family is comfortable with your i have a strong with wife your this, huh? i have a strong wife you said so earlier yes she has got no complaint but only thing she tells okay go safely think that we are we are at back and i'm okay. going it safely and i don't do any uh, masti on the road i follow traffic rules any time have you thought about uh, you know writing down your memoirs of yes. your life on yes. board the yes. ship yes uh, yes any time yes. you have uh, something in mind yes. because with all this uh, experiences that yes. you have shared i think they are just a uh, you know fraction of them yeah. there may be some more more too many yeah there i have told my son my son is a good block writer 
I have told my son, please do something. So he's doing it. And one of my best friend, advocate, advocate Khagendra Hegde Desai, I have told him also, Dada, please, yeah, we call him Dada. So I, I am in, I am in uh, course with him. He is writing it. I see. Yes. So we expect I'm to see a book very soon. Soon. Shortly, maybe yes. after two years. Biography, I am writing it. Very good, very good. Because this is my experience to the new generation, what I face. That's it. One uh, last question to you, Rajendra Bob. Uh, what would be your, you know, sincere advice to our Goan youth? See, Goan youth are well educated. A lot of options available before them, you know, to get well qualified. But when it comes to job, it is a big challenge. Mm. There are no suitable jobs. If there are jobs in Goa, uh, the, the salary that they get is not matching with their qualifications. Correct. Very often, it's happening the case, it's the case now. So, if they want to make a career on board the ship and a very lucrative career, successful career, what would be your advice to them with all your experience as a very senior, most tarvoti? Daniel Bab, Monatlan Sangta, I have been a revolutionary Raju. I see. In 1982, we fought for 50% ticket. You were part of it? Yes. The, me, Flavia Disa, Prashant, uh, Sandesh, Prashanti, Edward, Desmond, and we were doing hunger strike at State Bank of in India, Margaon, and we were robbed night time. Police took us and put into the jail. But Taj Barizao, Alan Disache, then I'm case register Kelina. Taj Baile and I'm going chow dili, chuda, biscuit, biscuit dili, but we were not registered. And Gorakad and I marhalo, Avilo, Bapailo marhalo, and I was in SSC that time. Tuki and Nakashil Bangari Kinapata. Two Bashin at a low school. Oh, hey. Ah. And Bashin and Ashilo. I'm Cholan Aspaje. Oh, I'm on a tour. I don't join the law. Because the revolution is Kaina, Kam, Donda Kaina, Korea, yeah. But we won. We won that battle. And as Ake going to Burge, I's Marin get the get a fifty percent. Mar, Pulisa, Langhala, Awilma, Rangala, Bapa Elma, Rangala. Point. I'm not, I'm not. Uh, feeling any sorry for this and all because we did it for our Goa. Not only that, for Konkani, Marathi language issue, we fought for it. One, one of our colleagues died from Raya. I was there here in Panjya Azad Maidan. My sister was here. So, um, uh, Manohar Babs, every, everyone was there. So, going to make contribution to Kokani Konkani Bhasha and Marathi uh, Bhasha, uh, Bhasha Khatir, Mine was maximum 9,700 rupees that time hmm. in that one biscuit, Britannia biscuit, Dabo. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I will advise going to Burgia. Instead of going to Portugal, staying and working there like Biharis, no. You have a wide opening in Goa. You do seamanship, you do your engineering. If you are capable, go higher uh, thing, go on ship. At least after six months, you will be back home. Don't go there with your family. Okay. Then, you have to go to the house, you have to go to the house, you have to go to the house, you have to So that comes around 50, 60,000 rupees. For that purpose, you don't sell yourself. You go to the house, 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 you go to Where is Goa? Goa is for these outsiders now. Who decide you are in my bhavishya? I'm in bhavishya, you have to go to the what galon korta? Tuka ya naka, tuki bartli naka, pun ya tig zan, te bartli god galtan tikin yudanata. So, my sincere request to the Goans, knees going kar zayat, poil amche poti, sogal taroti, no minin, dhamin, and goretale, bail burke, garakan astal, like char pans mani around portiotale. Pun family were here. Now, where I am staying, all houses are closed. Konutna. Gambir Paristhi. Certainly, Gambir Poir Ramchi Garasadi, a Tratha, Zavir Bab, Borna Dalo. One guy, he was a cook before. One o'clock in the night, my wife took him to the Apollo Victor. Kona, ek Burguna then, Kona Dotra Gorpa. This is the Paristhi. So, I Ulmarda going to Burgan. Please stay in Goa. Okay. Suba ka bula, Sham ko apas atai, to koi usko bula ne kata. So, please come, come back. Work on a ship because we have hospitality uh, field in Goa and going to Armada Rokhara Gatle. Kitli company asa, RCL asa, and uh, NCL asa, Kitli company asa. You work in Goa, hotel industry, 
ना जो तुमको शिकपा जाए जो तुम्हें कें आई एम एस गोवा आसा प्लस इंजिनियरिंग कॉलेजीस आसा तो ट्रेनिंग्स ये आसा दिस माय एडवाइस टू गो ऑन्स नॉट टू गो इन लंडन एंड स्पॉयल गोवास फ्यूचर थैंक यू वेरी मच रंजन बाब चढ़ देव बरें करूँ जाते अनुभव तुवें आज संगले आरनाटें बोस सलो दिल बेगिन तुम्हारी बायोग्राफी प्रकाशित जाऊँगी थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच धनल बाब दैट आई एम ऑनर टुडे दैट आज तुम्हें मुखार ऑपॉर्चुनिटी दी उपा खीर देव बर करो तुमकें देव बर करो सो दीस वॉज राजेन्द्र नाइक चीफ इंजिनियर ऑन बोर्ड द शिप ही हेज शेड हिज वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंसीस एज वेल एज गिवन सम गुड एडवाइस टू आर गोवन यूथ कीप वॉचिंग युअर फेवरेट चैनल द सी सी आर टी वी चैनल Thank you